Tell your friends, tell your pets, tell your parents. We're going in to New York 2020, day 10. Yeehaw! I don't think they need yeehaw in New York, but either way. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Shiro, lots of uh, big ups for him, calling him Mini Simple. A couple of... I did that a while ago, a didn't I? A year ago now, Chad. Yeah, maybe it will come into his own. Maybe. These we'll guys see. are mad aggressive, though. Look at the battle of fights they're taking just straight through towards window. Yo! That's a brutal one. Naphany's backing out of that. Be Bel... Belchonoch. Belchonoch. Belchonoch <laughs> has got the one. Fudge me, man. Let's do it. Let's do them all three times. Yeah, Pashinoj, Pashinoj, Pashinoj. Belchonoch, Belchonoch, Belchonoch. Zorty. Zorty. Robin. And Robin Kenzie. And Kenzie. I can do those ones. Belchinok. Belchinok. Hobbit's catching flack, but Nafany fills the feed. A double from Jungle after being initially pressured. He's handled this one with ease and a triple kill. Unarmored. No problem. And sending Ethereal back to spawn despite their early frags. Couldn't convert it. Gambit were another one of these teams in recent times who did the whole six man roster thing and then got rid of the six man. So, um. It's yeah, Charles. man. Oh, that's oh, that well, no, that is Lovsky's still there. Yeah, for now. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts. <gasps> oh, God. Just Chad Sponge, skeptical Birchall. Well, it, I, like, I like to be skeptical. No, I understand. Everyone's gobbling up conspiracy theories during this pandemic. I, I'm a big fan of as many conspiracies as Donald I Donald Trump just on. retweeted the Babylon Bee. That's a satire news site. No, he did. Yes, he did. He retweeted no, he it. He did. It literally in the article says Jack Dorsey of Twitter CEO hit the big red button, got his sledgehammer out and started swinging at the servers to bring it down because Biden's press was getting too bad. That's what he believed. He believed Alex, it and retweeted it. We can't. I'm sorry. Oh, we we live in this world. Yes. This world we live in. Yes, it's real. Satire. Conspiracies you believe in. Retweeted by the man with the nukes. Oh, they have, they've, they put Supra on the uh, transfer list. Oh, they did? Yeah. So Gambit's, is it eight or seven? Six? They only have a five-man roster, oh. but I guess if he's on the transfer list, does he still count as a sixth? I suppose not. Hmm. Well, we're back into the fray, and already Hobbit's got a dankest of flanks onto the lurk. I hope he knifes him. Yeah, I don't know if that's in Hobbit's playbook here. He's looking, look how cautious he is. Yeah, he's just going to unload. Wasn't the cleanest. Not an ideal situation, Lucky especially. nobody was watching. Yeah, thankfully. Uh, Sorters with got the bomb. Hobbits confirming that they could very well pivot from middle, a mid control setup. Looking into B, Axile confirms that that's the bomb on short. There is nothing that Ethereal should be able to do here. Don't forget, they only went for the Desert Eagle purchase, which, Chad, I'd like to know your thoughts on. Just going Deagle, no Kev, second I don't, round. I don't hate it. When you don't uh, get a plan. Yeah, that means they'll have another round of the same fashion. So they'll have two Deagle right. Kevlar rounds instead of one all in and one full eco. I kind of prefer uh, that. I'd, I'd like two bites of the Deagle headshot cherry. Yeah, or sure. if we wanted to make an argument, they could go AKs and Galils here. And they've they actually are. opted for the well, AKs. Oh, they like that so, argument too. Yeah, I, I don't love it because you're about to see how little utility they're operating with. Two smoke grenades. Um, but I guess one player could have potentially just gone on a Tech 9. Or a with... Galil even. Yeah, but Galils, you know. I know, but yeah. either way, it would have been better than just two smokes and a decoy. And they've have already ever, lobbed out one of the smokes. Have you ever met someone who actually believes that the earth is flat, by the way? Um, no. No? No. Alex? What's up? You ever met anyone who thinks the earth is actually flat? Like, like never, legit? never, okay. never, never. Okay. Me neither. I was, I was hoping you'd had an experience with someone like <laughs> I, that. I was really, like, imagining. I really am uh, enjoying this new Twitter account I found. It's called Esports Consultant Googles. I have seen that. Yeah. Oh, God. And this, is, this one he's just put out today. It says, how to monetize my never tweeting, never streaming, never interviewing nine invisible pro player. <laughs> I did just see that. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, that is a really like, good I one. I just hope that someone sees that who's a professional player and realizes hmm, maybe turning down these interviews because I think it makes me look cool isn't the best way for my future. It's not cool, is it? <clears throat> we are still waiting for this to stop. Oh, no, it's, it, this is round three. We, we already started alone. Yeah, but nothing's really happened. The action's oh, oh, starting, oh, Chad. Oh, yeah, oh, you need me to be specific. Hobbit is oh, solo bit. against four with an MP9. Now, yeah, but have you seen the story? Have you heard the tale? <sighs> how, how does he hold a site with a flashbang and an MP9, Lauren? Well, that's Tell me. a great story. So he <laughs> gets one of the, the greatest first, stories. 180s, boom, flash oh. off the wall. They're blind. Ooh. He's just brrr, all over the place, switches to the AK, bap, bap. This it's is, the two this headies. Is so bap, weird. Bap, Look at the standoff. Bap, bap. There are four on A, and Hobbit has no info. You got them ready for it? Oh, God. Just wait, just wait. Here it is. There's the first. There's the second. Got Wait, the flash. He's going to flash. Yeah, wait. Well, Shiro, Shiro's Shiro ruined kills it. One. Shiro's bloody ruined it. That's why the story doesn't go this Can't way. Can't believe that Gambit have won this round. They had four on A. Wait, hold, hold up, hold up. Here comes the bap bap. Mm, there's the bap bap. See? 
Oh, see? Oh, yeah. I nailed it. I told you. You naughty boy. Spray control from Robin. Rob, Rob, Robin. A Robin. Robin? I reckon it's Robin. A, I'm just gonna go with Robin. 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 Or Rob Dog for short. Robbers. Let's call him Rob Dogger. Robin. Zero though, looking very much like uh, the Imperial side of struggle to get the uh, off the starting mark. They were just not expecting someone to stand still on Tribox for the entire contact play. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Uh, Hobbit not moving, going for a jiggle or doing anything like that is actually uh, very right. interesting. Now, I want to give you guys some of the ages of these players. Inters, he's uh, he's 20. I feel like they're all going to be around like 19. Yeah, they're very young. Uh, Axiel is 18. Uh, Shiro as well, I believe he's 19. And uh, Naphne, he's going to be hitting the total of 19. And then you got Hobbit coming in, bringing that age up. He's 26. So that's why they were known yeah. as the Gambit youngsters. But uh, they've had some good results in recent times. So getting promoted to the primary squad. Well, there I was really no like squad. That, I guess that. they always were the primary mm. squad. But I do like the concept that they've now been put into the main Gambit roster. I think that's a really nice, like, concept of actually... Oh, they got their up. scouts badges, right? Well, I mean, most of the time when it's an academy team, it, it doesn't work that way. They may steal a player during a game where someone's, you know, being DDoSed, but, you know, it's not normal. That's true. That, was, um, uh, that guy was all right. No, it was perfectly fine for Na'Vi. Um, and this is going the way it should. So, again, uh, some people believe that America's military installation, uh, Area 51... Uh, alien spacecrafts. Do you believe in that? Yeah. Yeah? I do. Really? Yeah. Rush? 100%. S4 is a real place, and mm -hmm. uh, they have technology from out of this world. And Bob Lazar has no reason to lie. No, he has no reason to lie. Everything he said has come out to be true, so wh why not? And the bone, well, scanning, the bone scanning device that he did yep. talk about is real. He's like, okay, uh, we're going to have to do some fact checking here because these two it's true. nut cases are Take a look spiraling. Bone scanning Sorry, device. I've listened to Bob Lazar. Is that on a podcast? No. No? No, I watched a video of his voice being distorted when he was first coming forward as someone that visited Area 50, whatever the other one is, too. Oh, he's gone to the other. Yeah. Well, so S4... Basically, it's where the stuff was stored. Like, they had Oh, they've the got UFOs, a storage. They've they rented had... out a little storage. Oh, spot. Lauren. It's all right. It's her defense mechanism. When she doesn't understand something, she gets uh, pessimistic. Aliens are probably real. Oh, sure. But do you, do you, like, we had this discussion on TeamSpeak recently. Uh, do you think they've actually, you know, in contact with their... their I don't you know, think there's any jelly men in, walking Not in Area contact. 51. No they're jelly not, men in there. No, no jelly men in But there. I do okay. think they've probably found technology that's impossible to explain within the human comprehension. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that okay. could come down to multiple things. Absolutely. Now, if we want to talk about the great floods uh, that did happen many eons ago that, that could have actually completely destroyed a version of humanity that did progress to a point maybe equivalent to our own. Uh, we could start that level of conversation as but then, well. But then Rush. I would ask you immediately, Chad, I'd say, but what about the documentation of history? If we had technology that's replicate to the point level of our own, surely there would have been a way uh, to document. It was completely wiped out by a How torrential convenient. flood. So all of those servers, those waterproof servers that we would have eventually Gone. developed just... Well, I don't know if we were uh, as te technologically okay. advanced as what we are right but now. there's no traces? No, no. Well, no, there um, are traces. Like um, pigeons and uh, alligators. Yeah. Fair, pigeons are drones. Yeah. And I heard that alligators actually legit Ooh, just little... survived oh, the apocalypse that killed the dinosaurs. Little cheeky one oh, word here from Axiel. He's actually blocked the smoke to allow that. And Shiro's got a good shot here onto Robin. He'll connect, and that should be the swing. Oh, the spray from Axiel just didn't like quite add up. Shiro going to be Molotov forwards. Has he found a safe haven? He has. Kenzie spots him, though, Ooh. using the elevation, the little lip. On that staircase. Now mid control is garnered. Could this be Ethereal's first? A question that will only be answered in time. It will be a B play with where the bomb is right now. So unless old boy uh, Belichinok scuttles out of town. Do you guys use the word or have you encountered the word inting yet? Yeah, it's uh, intentionally feeding. Yes. Yeah. Well done. Very common. It's basically like the MOBA's version of throwing. Yep. They call it inting, yep. but they use it very conversationally. When you just run down mid and die, Lauren. We just run down mid lane and die. But they use it, obviously, for more than that. It's like, oh, I was inting that last fight. You know, I was intentionally feeding. It just means I was throwing. I messed up. So hey, we're too invested into B and only Naphne on A. I can't help but feel this one's over unless they fight him one by one. Great molly from Naphne. going to deny the uh, bomb pickup, right? Oh, no. Oh, Aww. Zorty. He's going to plan this down in time. Hobbit, though, he can deny. Go on. And all the damage done. Hobbit wins an exceptional Man, one on two and will even be able to save the AWP of Shiro. That is positioned over towards the catwalk. You can see right now why he is running away from the bomb. It's not because he's forgotten where it's planted. It's because he wants to get the $4,750 rifle in his hands. He can give this across to Shiro. Hobbit is yet to die. He is immortal. He's also a major winner. We've got an interesting point coming in from Daddy M1. 
At the M1. He was doing fine until he raided Area 51. He's brought up a good point. He is right. And everything was pretty good as well until um, Mad Lions kicked Hunden. And then everything in the counter has gone... completely fallen apart. Yeah. And it's yeah. it's just, there's nothing we can even do or say about that. I guess yeah. if you're going to kick a deity from your team, uh, That's then what happens. problems the gods will follow. Yeah. 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 So this is the... Uh, Obviously, you're not allowed to make mm. jokes like that, Chad. No, uh -huh. I did recently. I have just looked up uh, that Bob Lazar character, and it's quite curious when you see claims and criminal convictions as long as each other in his Wikipedia page. Claims, well, claims <laughs> and criminal convictions. That's 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 like the main chunk of that's what a cool he's done. Wikipedia page right there. It's very interesting. Oh, she's Hunter S. Thompson of the uh, Alien UFO World. UFO World. <laughs> uh, limited utility for the teaser. I want to see where they put this. They have. I get. I. I I hazard a guess that maybe getting mid control looks like it might be fought for once these smokes dissipate, but oh. Nade comes in, does fine placement, but not too much damage, a touch, but not enough. Blows my mind. I was reading a Reddit thread where like straight up half of the community don't know what Delpan is. That's wild. Yeah. I guess that we forget that we've been doing this since 2013, so lots of yeah. counter strikes been played and casted and spoken over, but never encountered it. That's wild. It is. We can call it chair from now on for all of our newer viewers or prepubescent viewers. Exile tagging up Zorte and he should finish him off with the Ooh, flames. There's no way out for him. Yeah, that's a perfect execution. A 4v3 now. Make it 3v3. Robin still needs to pick up that bomb. Despite finding the frag, Axel and Inters are pushing on him. Oh, and that's the end of him. So now with Pachinoge and Belchonokic. I'm only taking the piss. It's Balchanok and, of course, Passion yeah, Nage. Smoke down. Axile will play around it. He is, of course, vulnerable to the walkthrough, but that all scope may have been heard, may have been enough to entice Belchanok through, and bye-bye, Belchanok. Hello, I've seen your barrel. Oh. Passion Nage is gone. 6-0. Can I just say for now, and I, look, if I curse it, so be it. I know, oh, Alex, no. I'm so sorry. Oh, but no. Yo, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it, because Alex looks like he's going to throw Did you think it would, it would enhance the broadcast by saying it, Lauren? <laughs> I, I think it could add uh, a nice little touch onto the story of other teams not being able to play to their standard where they should be because we haven't seen this sort of lead, which is very surprising out of teams like oh, we've Spirit seen this and lead Navi. Before. Oh, we uh, haven't. Uh, we haven't. No. They have been. Oh, okay. Oh, no. I haven't said the thing oh, I was going to say. I didn't oh, say no. it. I alluded it's to it. It's fine. No, let's watch the, Let's watch as this fully bought up CT side. Kits, orgs, orbs, everything Loses they need. To Loses to Mac 10s and Eagles. Lauren. It will be the full A smokes. Look at this one. Done this? Zorta drops it. Hobbit already oh. low. And he's going to get Get caught in transition, only three HP. Lucky Stand. to be alive. Kenzie swinging. That should be the finish. Yep. Nope. That's Come on, embarrassing. Hobbit. Oh, Hobbit. Murders them all. Three HP. And Zorta. Yeah, I'm afraid that's the end for you as well. Shiro. Well, you tried, Lauren. The curse is broken. We need, you need a couple more black cats, a couple right. of mirrors. Black cats. Um, dolls. What else is there that is bad luck? Do you think Bigfoot's real? Uh, Bigfoot, I, I really I think question. Bigfoot's like the Tooth Fairy. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think that there's any merit in Bigfoot. I feel that if... I don't think there's any merit I feel in that Bigfoot. if there was some humanoid creature out there yeah. in the woods that we would find it. Yeah. Because we even found that tribe out there that never seen humans before, right? And that was a couple of years ago. Some guy what? went there, some Christian the tribe dude. in... The Amazon. In the middle of... In it was Washington in the middle of, State. No, no, no. But I'm saying... This is what I'm saying. We found people in, like very disconnected parts of the world oh, sure. who have never seen right, other okay. humans. Didn't that guy go over there and then they ate him? Um, I know that they tried to give them, like, religion and they ended up just giving them loads of, like, venereal diseases their immune system wasn't ready for. Wasn't that what happened with America? Oh, yeah, no, that's just generally just introducing just the world. yourself oh. into, yeah. into new populations. But it did happen with the uh, never-before-encountered tribe. Got it. Well, we got to stay away from people we don't know. And we got to stay away from people in general. Yeah, 1.5 yeah. meters, I think, is the German rule. It's quite safe, isn't it? Um... Well, Shiro's about to get this kill. Shiro? No. Oh, oh okay. Belchanok, he's going to come knocking on the door of mid. Afni will find the trade, and one by one they go, and one by one I'm sure they'll fall. Zorte. Robert trying to stay as a pack, and that works nicely. Can't believe Axel's sticking around. That cost him his life. Good shooting from Zorte. So it should be the first here as they have a three, make it four man versus two. Only Hobbit pushed up in that palace position. The way he could destabilize this would be if they really spend too much time here in Connector. If they waste 20 seconds and then they have 10 and he denies the plant, we are cooking. But Passionage will be in a position to deny. Look how slow this is. It is uh, absurd, actually. They are starting to take space now. They'll drop the smoke monster. Uh, excuse me. Let me try again. That's a different map. Jungle. And uh, Hobbit continues to hold his ground. 20 so, seconds. Yeah, if Hobbit denies the plant here, and then we have Inters coming through, we may have a round on their hands. 
There's a gap. Here it is. Oh, good stuff from Zorty. Big round. That should be it. That should be it. Money's decent on the side of things for Gambit, but they shouldn't have Inters limp in too far. If he can just do some economical damage, so hang around towards a ramp, get a kill or two, and take away some of these AK-47s, and that'll be a good way to round out number eight. And the scoreline will trickle on up to 7-1 in favor now of Gambit. Now, Shiro rocking 6300 will be able to get the AWP back out. Guns can be dropped across for Hobbit and Naphne if required. They'll only get the $1,400 loss bonus. Inters needs to hold on to this org. And we obviously had the weapon balance discussion with Nexa and Alexi B. Talking about some of the little uh, changes of the game. Now, the Krieg and the Org last year were running rampant, but we're seeing a resurgence in the Org late in 2020. A lot of players are using it on the CT side. Still very, very viable. Has that scope. Great for holding angles. The closer you are, uh, the more damage it's going to do. Even can get you a one-shot headshot if you are real close. Emphasis on the real. Uh, the buy comes on through. You can see here everybody has all the goodies. And that's what Russia is doing right now. So underway we go. Probably another slow default spread approach here. Zorti has out the AWP. So let's see if he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nafani, who was actually pushing on through. They've taken a lot of ramp control here, Hobbit and Nafani. Oh, he spotted the leg. So Pashanoi, um, as uh, tweets come through the stratosphere. Have they come in? It was just one. He said, um, can understand why you'd think it was Pashanoj, but uh, the machine was right by saying Pashanoi. Pashanoi. So thumbs up from Graham Pitt. Didn't think he'd be watching the CIS Counter-Strike while North oh, were currently competing, but it's good to have Graham with us. Course? Yeah, well, he's been working on it, Lauren. Congratulations. And, you know, they want to make sure they can scout all the different types of players over there at North. So having Russian players on the table is one that Graham's been looking at. He's been working on his Russian as well. Yeah. Yep. Got the shorts on. Working on thumbs down and thumbs up. In Russian. In Russian. It's yeah. a little bit more difficult. Oh, so I believe you say yeah. Pasha Noj for thumbs up and uh, it's a Belgian knock for uh, thumbs down. Yes. Yes. Well, uh, 45 seconds remaining on the clock here. Not a lot's happened. Mid control. Yep, they've got it. Uh, yeah, but watch this. Hobbit is about to take two members of this squad down. One through the smoke and the transfer's not far off. Kenzie low, picks up the bomb. Shiro on high alert. Actually drops the smoke, interestingly enough, hoping to distract. Nafani finishing off the job, doesn't expect the second swing. Now Robin's gonna molly him. He needs to get out of dodge and it costs him his life. Three on three, Inter's rotating. Doesn't want to concede this one in the same way they did the round prior. Exile has the incendiary to like buy that plan. This is good. And from behind, one. yes, Inter's. Fragging Exile 2 just on Pashanoi, and well, that's the end of him. Did you guys see that, Molly? I know we never play Mirage, but that would be a good one to use everybody. Is, is that just on the default try box plan? Yeah, that one was uh, for the open side there towards Connector. So a nice little Molotov coming into play from the Gambit side of things. Now, I want to let everybody at home know, because I know that's why most of you tune on in, is to see the Skybox breakdowns. Well, Counter-Strike was updated again last night, and uh, that means we won't have any oh, Skybox. Oh, are you serious? Guys. There'll be no Skybox today. Oh, okay. Well, I know. you can thing? send your letters of complaint directly to chat. That's no, Anders. S -S send them to Anders. Yeah, A-N-D-E-R-S. <laughs> uh, what else we got going on right now in the Counter-Strike world? Um, Our game? A pick Counter-Strike. Pick from Shiro. Yeah? Yep. So if you guys want to get a good understanding of how to do a default, but not actually take any space, this game's great for it. So what you want to do... No, 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 no. Let him go. No, no. You want, this is how you set up right across the map. So you, you're going to have your players spread across Mirage, and you're listening for sound cues. And going for mid-control right now, you can see the smoke coming over on the radar. That's going to land on Cat. There should be a flash. You never really want to be peeking dry. That's not a good idea. Um, but they'll get the trade. So that's not too bad. And, uh, bit. I like it. It's a bit saucy. It is saucy. And I'm not even talking like kind of watery gravy. I'm talking thick sauce. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got... Uh, uh, wait. I was building suspense. If you guys could stop talking over me. Then here comes a Max Wonderland. Oh, Axile. You rarely see this one. It's joy. <laughs> 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 a triple spray down against the AKs. Unbelievable scenes. Axile could not believe his luck. Great trigger discipline. Those guys just got pantsed, humiliated, and people are sharing it on their smartphones all over the world. Welcome to 2020, Ethereal. Oh, Ajanoi doesn't have a kill. I just uh, realized that. Yeah, he's 0, zero 10. Oh, bless. 
It's a bit pash yeah. annoying for sure. Uh, yeah. This is, yeah, that's a bad joke that I don't laugh at. No. Or people were um, like, oh, you always laugh at Alex's not funny comments. It really no, but that's the whole that. point that you have to make the not funny jokes funny by not laughing at them. It's funny because someone said it out loud and you know that that's not directly funny. Have you guys been on the Reddit again? No, I haven't. I was. No, I gotta Lauren, stay off the Reddit. Lauren managed to turn a, a thread complimenting her into criticism somehow. <laughs> uh, I don't know how she managed Shut it. Shut up. You find that one comment and you hold on to it. I don't know how it. she managed it, but... Uh, she said Alex did. wasn't funny. Well... I mean, I'm no, not... Really not. He's not a comedian. Oh, dear! Pasha Noy, that is yeah. ugly counter. Missing his deagle opportunity, and now oh, I'm afraid oi, oi, oi. he's caught the nade. Oh, dear. Magnets in his fingertips, catching the nade. Nephany onto Kenzie. And this one... I'm afraid is all said and or done. So Rush and I have some danger zone content that we were going to do during the second series. Um, mm -hmm. However, if this game continues in this fashion, we might have to do it as this game's post segment because um, there's, there's really not a lot to talk about because all they're doing every round is the same default spread. Every single one of their low buy or eco approaches have been the same just by deagles and look for picks. Um, they tried an A execute where Hobbit managed to get the opening kill, survive on 3 HP and still find two more. And that's already me summarizing the first 11, 11, 11 rounds of play. Rush, what do you think about that? Do you think we should maybe see if we can do the Danger Zone content post this one? Yeah, can do. I'm up for it. I like Danger Zone. And you said we have a lot of videos, so we could do one later in the day as well. Yes, possibly. I, I believe so. Okay, so well, we'll work that out. We have uh, probably six or seven more rounds left in this matchup. Is, <laughs> Uh, Pashanoi, 0-0 zero, zero and 11 at this stage. Let's see him get on the board here. Let's get him, let's will him on the board. Lauren, use some of your bad luck and turn it into good luck. He's dead. <laughs> next round. Can you do it next round? Maybe. Okay, next round would be nice. Oh, poor Kenzie's just had every nade thrown at him from Shiro. And he's even hunting Tetris. This is crazy counter. Okay, Kenzie will punish Shiro's overly aggressive hunt. Heard the reload. Knows he's close. Naphany, you mad, man. Yeah, this is crazy. That is crazy. Butchers into Kenzie. Robin, we're going to get this one for free. And deathmatch continues. Spell Chinook. 1v2. Plant the bomb. Axel's already working on the clutch. Easy peasy on the back. But Axel from behind, probably not going to make it all too easy. He's working his way Ooh, towards he's ground. Ahead. And Bell Chinook should see it. Oh, dear. Oh, John can win it. Ooh, here Man. we go. 1v2. Looking good. Looking promising. But Nafany too good. Looking good for Gambit here as they are locking it down. You remember what you were doing when you were 19? Um, Not really. What year was that? 2000 and... 2009. Nine. Oh, no. For me, it was 2000 and... Yeah. We're the similar age. I was at school. It would have been... I was like... 2011. teenager -y. 2011, 2012. Mm -hmm. um, Don't know. I was a lot of COD 4, I think, at that time. Or yep. just leaving Already it. doing COD 4 smoke lineups at my university halls. Okay. Um, skipping the nights out to cast COD 4 for 60 euros a month. Pretty bad like salary. Well, look where you it's are not, now. Not, not bad, eh? I mean, not bad. In my yeah. PayPal once every four weeks. Oof. Well, they fluffed their mid smoke here for connector, I believe. CC's limped out one as well. So it's kind of cancelled it out here as they're just going straight on towards the A side of things. It's a retake setup from Hobbit, tucked in towards the ticket booth. Nafany in tow over towards Connector and rotating over to CT Spawn is Shiro with the AWP. Great control. But if he doesn't get there in time, Hobbit will have all of them for lunch. Nade oh. is fantastic. Molotov's going to flush them out. Oh. Nafany finding the kill through the Connector position. Now it's just a two on four. Belcher not doing what he can, but it's just Zorty last alive and he will fall to Hobbit. Picked it off, finished it off. Hobbit, 18 kills right now, 125 points of ADR. And Hobbit said it, he couldn't tell us if it was going to be an easy one. He couldn't even tell us what was going to happen in the game. But, uh, he couldn't account for Passionoy being absent for the entire first half. Come on, Passionoy. We need a kill, buddy. We know how you feel. We've all been there before. Sometimes it's not going your way. But this is the moment. This is it. I'm feeling it. Let's stick with Passionoy. He's going over towards eight. Top mid smoke coming on through. He's fighting Hobbit. Big yeah. man Hobbit. But he's not alone, Lauren. He's got backup. And he's Robin's here. Friend. Now the bomb is going over towards B. They're just working a Come bit on. here as Passionoy behind the Come smoke on. has Hobbit to deal with. This is on a timer. The smoke will fade. He gets this. 
This Let's is go. One. Let's go. Come on, Passionoy. Hobbit's not even looking, and the good catch from Rush as the B apps player goes oh. down. Oh. But hey, Passionoy! Yes. Go on. Blood is drawn by Passionoy, and now could be a bit more. Missed shot from Shiro. Gonna have to opt for CT. Axile's one his way as well. The rotate's Ooh, coming in. Ken see lurking. Nafani has a chance to. Oh my god, that's the bomb. Oh, oh phew. Phew. Okay, well, they know the bomb's late, and while well, is pushed up for his second, so now this one feels like ethereal. All said and done. Axile cat caught by the spray of Zorte puts Shiro into a one versus three Watch that this. Sh should Watch this. not manifest. Drop it. This kid's nutty. He is nutty, but I don't know what he's supposed to do with this situation. He knows that the bomb's being planted and he can't really contest it. A wild wall bang expecting the boost to peek him up and be foolish of Ethereal to give him all of that. And that's the end of that. Second round found. Ethereal just having the frags nice. delivered. It turns out when Passionoy finds a double kill, it gets significantly easier to convert. Good stuff from Passionoy there. He's on the board now. And so uh, Ethereal with two rounds. So going into this half, their map choice. It is a CT bias map, but normally we're looking for eight, seven, nine, sixes. That'd be par for the course on a regular day out on Mirage. You obviously have to get a booking, make sure uh, you max members of 10. And uh, there's no golf buggies on this None. one. No, no golf buggies. But uh, Would double you, orbs, yeah. Would you rather be a medieval knight or a pirate? Um, depends. Am I like the captain of the pirate ship? I believe you can have some creative freedoms with your pirate role. Well, then I'd, I'd probably prefer to be the pirate. Interesting. I'll be asking both of you as to the reasoning behind that. But first, we've got a counter-strike round. So one knight, one pirate. Let us know in the chat. Would you rather be seen in the seven seas or galloping around town to town? Maybe with a little bit of a round table involved as well. Well, they've cleared B apps, but that's uh, a bit of false information as we can see right now. Coming on through uh -oh. will be Passionoy, and it's a B split. That's going to put a lot of pressure on Axial. He's got the org. He's back towards the bench position. They'll hear this. Nafani's going to hear this. And Axile, though he was prepared, only gets the one. So this will be a retake situation. Zorta nice. catching enters, crossing back. This feels good. Shiro, hard shot, misses it. Catching the glimpse of the across to the bench position. Is he going to flash it? He was smokes off the, the door. He's surely not picking this. Yeah, exactly. Keep your head down, Chief. There's no reason. No reason to. And oh, wow. Look at Nafani's he flank. Peak. He did. Kenzie's down, and Nafani can find another. Spot Sorte takes oh. him out. This is too easy. Just Robin. 1v3 now. Tucked in and should find Nafani cleanly, but immediately Hobbit arrives from short. Domination stations found. Gambit 13. They're three rounds away from finishing off Ethereal's map pick. This is the most convincing stomp we've cast in some time. 13 to Gambit.
13 to 2 with Gambit looking to wrap this one up quick. Mirage, the first map of the series. Pansy and Sponge hanging out with myself, Machine. I am. So what about the pirates and the knights question? So, Chad. Yes. Justify the pirate decision. Because I know that life wasn't tickety-boo on board. Yeah. Like you're eating crummy crick. Yeah, I gotta Let make try sure. Again. Crummy crackers. Yep. There we go. But I'd be I'd get to be on the seven seas. Yes. Yes, you would, but you'd have to share your plunder after working so the hard. I'm uh, Certainly, but you know, it was an even share for even the captain. Yeah, but it, it, being a pirate, it's pretty cutthroat. So That's true. anyone who And anger is me, your best emotion. I would kill them. <laughs> so most pirates probably had anger as their best Ooh, emotion as well. Oh, we've got some information being Wait, found. Wait, Belchanoff has the taken the... No. Who is this madman? Okay, Passion Noi. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Axile. Axile? Axile. What do you reckon? I think I'm with Axile. Axile. That's kind of cool. Like X-File. Oh. oh. Quite like that. Uh, the last two, though. Uh, so I've just, I've just learned that the, the average pirate would live to the age of 26. So you're already dead. That the average knight would live to the age of 46. Yeah, because it's just like... No but I, running I'm not the horses. average pirate. But Lauren, you've been practicing your sword play, haven't you? You've been of reading course. up about all the swords yeah. you'd use, yeah, so yeah. you know what kind of knight you'd be. I'd be a broadsword yeah. user, well, I think. I'd like to one. I'd, I'd be. I, I think I'd be British. I'd go British for that. British knight. Yeah, potentially. Not like the Crusades. You're not on holiday. No. Well, like, no. The, well, the Crusades could have been a problem. That's a you bit know, of that's an, probably that's where. A bit I'd, of, you bit know, of like a historical oopsie. Either, if we yeah. If either that or I die of dysentery. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bit of an issue there. I like the whole pillaging for a deity. Yeah. Probably not on the. Not, it's not list. high on the agenda. No, but no, no, I like the idea of you know gallantry and all that. That seems quite. Just nice. raising you awareness guys, of the all-loving God. Have you guys murdering seen the, you? Have you guys seen the show Black Praise Sails? Be. Praise be. Yeah, so I remember Black Sails. That's why I'd like to be a pirate. So I'm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, no, that, that makes loads of sense actually. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. they made it look good because they were in the Caribbean. Um, it was pretty nice down there. Could hang out with uh, what's his face, Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. Edward. Edward, old Eddie. Eddie, the pirate. Now, uh, let's just talk through this round because... Scimitars for fingers. Ethereal have actually gone all in. They forced what? If they lose this, they lose the game. Uh, if they win this, we'll have a couple rounds more, but it doesn't start well for Passion Where Noi. Fight. He's going to get uh, oh. taken on down. Axiel's going to take a chunk of damage there from the scout, but eventually the frag will come on through. Zorty falls, and now it's just three remaining. Robin, with no Batman in sight. Kenzie and uh, Belchinok. They've got a lot of work to do here, but they might just want to hold on to what they invested into for the last round of play. So this one will be a gambit round. 15 to 2 will be on the scoreboard. And we'll be getting you onto overpass very quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for flying with us today. It Alex? is uh, I am New York Airlines. Yes. Pirate or knight? I think I'd take the uh, knight. He'd do a knight because he's thinking of runescape when he's got his... Uh, my myth, my myth, mithril armor. Is, is Mithril the best one? No. You know, you, the best one was the 20 defense one. for Mithril, and that wasn't the best one. 30 defense for Adamant. Oh, Dragon. 40 defense dragon. for Rune. 60 defense for Dragon. Yeah. And then if you're going into like the Barrows kind of stuff, the Third sure, Age, sure. that's when you need a, a higher defense. That I never got that high. No. I never got to the like the, the Barrows sets. That was apparently a bit intimidating for me at the time, but apparently everyone knows how to do it now. Just, it's like the spiky buff boy. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. This that is what, cool. so the reason I always kind of liked Diablo was because I, I really enjoyed RuneScape as a kid. 
Yeah. And then I thought the Diablo in a similar vein. But the problem with Diablo is it gets real old real quick because you're just clearing waves. That's like mm. some people see like the progression of that. Like you, you have the mechanics of getting stronger and doing harder dungeons. Yeah. Like the dungeon crawler thing. I get it because that's like what all I do in WoW. Sure. Yeah. Like you just, I'm doing the same dungeon, but it's getting harder and I'm getting better. I like the PvP stuff you do in WoW. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. And I actually think that that's something that has a super high barrier to entry, but could be the most complex slash entertaining form of World of Warcraft. It's just really poorly uh, explained and supported by the, the owner of the game. Blizzard. That's the one. Those people. Not I don't even blame Blizzard uh, anymore, actually, to be honest. Not supporting StarCraft anymore. What's no, I saw that. Activision. Okay. Oh, Zorta. Get him, Lon. Get him. Not his forte. Already gone down. T side now taking over the B site. That was a bit of a stretch from what I said, but let's see if they can keep this oh. clean. Tag oh, that's and it. frag. Here we go. Now we're talking. Exile's so low. Pasha Noi has managed to, I thought, get an upgrade, but he's stuck with the Mag 7. It's a Mag 10 option, so it's not particularly satisfactory bomb yet to be planted Enzy, and so that's a risky yeah boy. he's taking some initiative here and he's right to do so he's found a gap and exploits it shiro did not see that one coming and now things get very very difficult with passionoi closing the flank down a smoke towards the kitchen side might spur them into the oh. crosshairs of robin and now a 1v3 emerges and that's the end of inters looks like this one could get wrapped on up as ethereal are working on a 13 make it 12 round comeback Na 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 Robin. Now, statistics indicate the uh, likelihood of this having any sort of overtime is uh, low. Quite hot. Oh. oh. Rush, what's the uh, algorithm saying? Uh, very likely, I would say. This will be 15 15 in about 30 minutes. 30 minutes, 15 15. Okay. Yeah. Rush? Well, the CTs are about to be broken yeah, what if uh, yes. Hiro hits yes, this all shot. Knight or pirate, have a think. Uh, I'll think about it. Yep. No towards connector, mid control garnered. Let's actually tell a lie. They are chomping at the bit over in connector. Bomb left towards the top. Oh, we, we have someone riding in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, now, I, I can't read his name on Twitter, oh. but it's... Uh, Is it a naughty name? Kukoi, Kukoi, Kukoi. Ah, okay. uh, yes, Kukoi. Uh, and he, he looks to be using... Russian symbols. I see. Also known as Cyrillic, for those of you playing at home. Yeah. Uh, he ha he says, hello, regarding Pashinoj and yeah. Belchinok pronunciation, it should be, this is so difficult for me to say, but it, it, so sound he's, it out. It, it, pa Pasha Noz, it's got, he has N-O-Z-H. Z-H. Yeah, how That's would we noz. say? Yeah, I guess. That's a Noz. And a uh, it, it means Pasha knife in Russian and knife is N O Z H. Noz. Okay. Noz. So we've learned that. Pasha Noz. And then we'll do the. Pasha knife. Pasha knife. Yeah, we can yep. call him Pasha knife. Cool. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Belgian knock. How was that? We'll get into that one oh, here because I assume the last thirty thing. seconds of this is going to get uh, real exciting. It should do because we've got this A hit potentially coming through now. Now they did lose that one player in towards middle though, so it's just Hobbit then now. Very, very slow stuff. Fifteen seconds now. Okay, well, that's probably the round. Hold on, Hobbit. No. He's got a plant. Just going to save the orb. Another round on the board. Ethereal, the comeback. It could be real. Is Shiro hanging around a little bit too long, me friend? He thinks better of peaking that one. We'll hold on to the AWP. And now I can get into the uh, Belchinok discussion. So, uh, Belchinok, that's Little Squirrel in Russian. Oh, I'm learning so much here. That's with, adorable. The, with the stress on the first O, not the second O. Doesn't help me. Little Squirrel so, and Passion Knife. Bell, cha, knock. That doesn't help me at all. No, it doesn't help me either. But I thank you for taking the time. I really do appreciate the effort. If you could do it phonetically for us, so really like it's that. basically how idiots would say it. That's what yeah. we need because we are exactly that. As we take a look at round number twenty. Now, for those of you interested in the buy and you're listening on the wireless, it's going to be some deagles and a galil with Shiro saved AWP going up against the. Five rifles of Ethereal, and they actually have quite the aggressive mid setup here. So Nafany doing his best just to keep that busy. Flashed on back, a flash of his own. Robin will try to tickle him up, but none of the bullets landing just there. And well, there's an interesting split coming in from Gambit. Two towards the B side of things, two towards the A, and one over towards the top of mid. Inters gets the first duel against Kenzie under the shadow position. They'll tickle him up, they'll bounce on back, and Shiro in the swing of things goes down to Zorty. 
So we have ourselves another four on five scenario with a minute and five seconds left on the clock. Let's see if they find anything with this. Hobbit being found by the Molotov, forced out of position. And sadly, none of those deagles that are invested really finding much form, but chance towards B. Off the back of the flash. There it is. Nice work. The damage being received. Nathany, Hobbit, actually a little lower, but Hobbit has Whoa. found another, and suddenly there's a little bit of danger afoot. Oh, oh dearie no. me. Not like this. Not like this. 16 to 4, Gambit.